Here's a quick note about modules versus classes, because I've found among my classroom students that there's sometimes some confusion. Basically, a Python module is simply a file that contains code. This code can be executed directly, or it can be imported. When we use the word module, we often mean code that's intended to be imported, although the generic definition of module is simply a file that contains Python code. When we import a module, the code becomes available to us through the module's name. Here's a module that we're calling MyMod. It's not designed to be executed. It's designed to be imported. You can see that we have an integer here, var, and a function called do this. Now we have another file called test.py where we're importing MyMod. As you know, importing a module means you leave off the .py extension. If you say import mymod, Python will import mymod.py. And now, let's execute it. We see 10 and then executing the do this function. And of course, that's exactly what we have in mymod. We're accessing var and do this through the mymod name. This is the standard way to import a module. The mymod namespace holds the mymod variables, var and do this. And there are other ways to import as well. We can rename MyMod as MM. We simply reassigned the name MyMod to the name MM, and now we can access the variables through that name. The third way to do it is to import variables directly, and then that's when we use the from keyword. From MyMod, import var and do this. Now we can use the variables directly. This is just a little primer in how to use modules. Whichever method you choose doesn't really matter. The only reason you might choose one method over another is for convenience and clarity. Finally, let's discuss modules in reference to classes. Sometimes these are confused, either because of the notation that we're using, or sometimes it's because a module may just contain one class and they sometimes seem synonymous. Remember, a module is simply a file that contains Python code. A class definition, which we're going to look into shortly, is simply Python code. In this somewhat confusing example, the designers of the decimal class decided to name the module decimal and the class that's inside the module as decimal. So that's why we're able to say, from decimal, import decimal. In this example, case really matters. So the lowercase d decimal is the module and the uppercase D decimal is the class that's inside the decimal module. We're going to see that all classes begin with an uppercase letter. That's a standard Python convention. As we mentioned, you can import specific variables from a module using this form, from decimal, import decimal. We're saying from the decimal module, import the decimal class. And now we're using the decimal class the way it's intended to be used. You pass a string that specifies which value you'd like to use, and it creates a decimal object. Let's run it for you right here. So here we've created two new decimal objects, and we're adding them together. The details aren't really important. The illustration here is just to show you that a module is just a file that contains Python code, and a class is simply Python code. That's the difference between those two.